<clears throat> YouTube, what's up? What's happening? Here I am bringing in another video. And today we're looking at this uh, Master Airbrush G44. So, saludos amigos. Hoy este es otro video. Y estamos haciendo un, más o menos como un review de este aerógrafo que es el Master Airbrush uh, G44. Um, and I'll have a link to this down in the description. I might put a comment with the link as well. Um, it comes with a nice little book, instructional airbrush book with basic lessons. And uh, yeah, I brought this, uh, I bought this because when you guys left a comment on one of the videos um, about the G22 airbrush, and uh, I noticed that I had already had this thing for a year so like i've been using this thing for a year i've actually used this one to make this piece back here um and it's been quite a, like quite a workhorse i haven't actually like broken it like everything that's on here is still that it what it came with um it's a little bit dirty right now from from this last job but um pretty much i've just been cleaning it and it's been running really good so este video más o menos es porque alguien dejó un, un comentario pues en uno de los videos que es sobre este uh, aerógrafo es el G22 uh, y también voy a dejar un link para la descripción en la descripción para los para los dos aerógrafos um, va a estar abajo en la descripción pero alguien me dejó un comentario y uh, me di cuenta que ya he tenido este aerógrafo para por más de un año y todo lo que estás en este aerógrafo todavía es lo que con lo que vino pues no, no he reemplazado nada la aguja es la original ah, so, todo lo que he hecho es limpiarlo ¿verdad? So, después de cada trabajo es limpiarlo muy bien uh, de adentro está muy limpio so the inside is always clean I always keep the inside real nice and clean um, but you know this thing has been really good so I seen that I had for a year so I seen they had this one and I was like, well, let's try it out. You know, like I, I want to see, I've had good experience already with that one. Let's try it out, right? So, he tenido este aerógrafo por más de un año. So, me fui, me lancé y compré otro aerógrafo de la misma compañía. Y este se mira mucho más de alta calidad, pues. Um, y este tiene un poco más de función, pues. So, tiene este, uh, este aquí, este um, regulador, pues, para el aire. Tiene un regalo, regulador para la navuja, para cuando la, la, no quieres que la aguja se te haga muy para atrás, puedes regular la aguja. So this airbrush has a couple more features that that one doesn't have. So it has a, a nice little regulator here for the air um, airflow towards the needle. And then it also has a, a needle regulator at the back here so that you don't, you can set uh, where your needle is, you know, where you want it to stop. And it'll automatically stop at that point where you set it. Which is really nice for if you want to get really nice consistent lines. If you have trouble doing that, um, you know, this will really help you out. This one looks like much more high quality than that one for some reason. Uh, even the inside of here, this one always kind of had like a, just like some weird um, imperfections in the metal. And, it, and this one, it looks like it was really uh, nice and polished even on the inside of here. So it's, it's really nice. Even where it says master, on this one, you can still see it. But it was always really light and on this one it's really it's really noticeable it looks it looks to be pretty good so in the package you get the airbrush of course uh you get your your hose adapter for if you want to make your own hose you get a little tool for the nozzle there that's in this foam so in the paquete va a llegar el, la libreta esa con instrucciones uh, y una lección básica sobre el aerógrafo, una manilla para uh, limpiar o desasamblar el aerógrafo en la parte más fina, <coughs> obviamente su capa y los, uh, las conexiones aquí pues para hacer una manguera de aire, uh, pero si tienen uh, aerógrafos de Aiwara, las, las uh, mangueras de Aiwara, las, las las aquí, ¿cómo se dicen estas? Las conexiones, pues, son, son de la misma 
del mismo tamaño que las de Aguada. So these connections here are the same as Aguada connections. So if you have hoses, um, you know, you can easily just transfer your Aguada hoses over to this and then it'll work just fine. I really like this needle regulator thing going on. And also this is like aluminum, whereas this is steel. So it kind of has this nice separate tone. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera or not. But it looks really nice. It's a really nice airbrush um, so far. But I'm going to set up a paper. We're going to try it out. And uh, I'll let you know what I think. So, como pueden ver, tiene como dos diferentes metales aquí. Se mira muy, muy de alta calidad. Considerado que es de más de 30 dólares. Se mira, se mira hecho muy bien. Este no tiene problemas... So this one doesn't have the problems from the G22 where that kind of was like flimsy and stuff. This is all looks like really nice and snug. It just looks, it looks pretty good quality, on, honestly. I'm actually kind of surprised with the quality build of this one. Whereas this one, I expected it because it was cheap. I didn't expect much and I was actually pretty impressed. Um, but it, you know, a lot of the parts kind of fit wiggly jiggly together. This one actually looks really nice and snug. Everything is it, it, it's nice and tight. It just feels tight in your hand. So, <clears throat> so sí, todo se mira más más calidad en esta que en este de acá. Y tiene esas funciones extras y por 10 dólares más, um, you know. This also has a 0.2 millimeter needle, whereas this has a 0.3. Um, so it's a little bit finer, um, but that'll be okay for what we're doing today. So, so voy a poner un papel aquí. Vamos a darle unas líneas y unos dibujos a ver qué podemos hacer. Y les dejo saber qué creo del, del, del aerógrafo, lo que yo siento, cómo se, cómo se siente, cómo, cómo sirve. <risa> uh, I have reduced this. Um, it's about half paint, half reducer. Uh, it's a 0.2 millimeter needle, so I would always recommend reducing it at this at this level. And with an airbrush like this, where it's more about precision, I would definitely recommend reducing it. But we're going to try out some dagger strokes. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, straight out of the box, just hooked it up to my hose, my airbrush hose here, and um, th this is a, a nice airbrush. Oh yeah, I like I like this airbrush. This is this is fire. <laughs> like I said, I reduced the paint. It's fifty percent paint, fifty percent reducer, um, and it's it's flowing through here like so nice. Uh, there is nothing I would want to change. Let me try out this uh, needle regulator here. That's a pretty cool feature. Mm. 
And if you want those lines to always be the same, you're gonna do something, you know, doing the spider web. And it's really responsive too. It's like really nice. I, I like this airbrush a lot. I, I'll have to mess more with that uh, regulator feature on my own time. What about this? Let's see what this. And this, this tip right here is interesting um, because it has the, the cutouts, right? You can see those cutouts right there, um, which controls the turbulence around your spray, which makes it really easy to get nice fine lines. I mean, this is a nice airbrush. It's pleasant to paint with. All the extra features it has. For $30, are you kidding me? Like, I, I don't even know what to say. And if it lasts even half as long as the other one, because that was my whole thing with the other one was, you know, I don't mind taking it around because I'll just, you know, if I break it or something, I'll just replace it. No problem. But then it never broke, so I just continued to use it. And yeah, now I would totally recommend that one. And if you want to spend the extra money, $10, I mean, it's not much. I would recommend this too. This is pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's see here. Oh, I messed that up. I misspelled it. Yep, uh, <laughs> I think I found my new favorite one. This is good, I like this. Um, it feels sturdy, has a pretty big cup, so you're able to like, uh, I, I don't even know what to say, I like this airbrush. So, si sí, amigos, I mean, por 30 dólares este aerógrafo sirve muy muy bien. Um, no sé qué decirles, la pintura es de Createx, uh, es el Wicked Detail Black, es negro. Está reducida la pintura a 50% a pintura, 50% reducido. Y sí, como pueden ver, la pintura y todo sirve muy, muy bien. Um, es una aguja muy fina y pueden hacer líneas muy, muy finas muy fácilmente con este aerógrafo. So, uh, si quieren comprar este aerógrafo, 
Voy a poner links en la descripción del video para los dos aerógrafos y ahí ustedes pueden decidir cuál les gusta más. Um, y sí, gracias por ver. Yo voy a poner este aerógrafo en uso en, en el carro aquí que tenemos atrás que estoy pintando. Y ojalá les guste el video. Síguenme en las redes sociales, en Instagram y, y sí, en Facebook. Sigan la página de Mike's Brush. So if you go on Instagram, you follow me, um, you'll see all my current work that I'm working on. I know I've been um, slow with the videos, but I've been really busy lately doing all kinds of stuff. So if you want to keep up with that, follow me on Instagram or the Facebook, Mike's Brush. You know, as always, I'll put a link to these things down in the description if you want to get one. Using those links helps out the channel. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Un rato, amigos.